Disney's Disneyland. When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. Each week as you enter this timeless land, one of these many worlds will open to you. Frontierland. Tall tales and true from the legendary past. Tomorrowland, promise of things to come. Adventureland, the wonder world of nature's own realm. Fantasyland, the happiest kingdom of them all. Presenting this week from Fantasyland, the Goofy Success Story. And now, Walt Disney. From time to time on our show, we featured several of our cartoon characters in a variety of roles. We've shown you Mickey, Donald, Pluto, and several of the others. And now, we'd like to pay a special tribute to still another talented cartoon thespian, one who achieves success the hard way. We call him Goofy. He's always been a modest, unassuming fellow, one who's never let fame go to his head. So this program belongs to him. We give you the Goofy Success Story. Presenting the Goofy Success Story. <coughs> They say that all the world's a stage. And here's one town where everybody wants to get into the act. Hollywood, movie capital of the world. Fabulous Hollywood, glittery, golden Hollywood. Ah, Hollywood, where new talent is always at a premium. Talent scouts prying into every nook and cranny, unrelenting, untiring, ever vigilant. Paris scouts are on the job, searching far and wide. The drama unfolds as night and day the untiring search goes on. Constantly on the lookout for that intangible something. A look, a smile, a face, a body, ability. Into this world of make-believe, our hero, Goofy, arrives. Oh, the world knows me, eleven. Hungry and almost broke. We eat. Mickey Mouse. Mmm, boy, my favorite actor. One in the balcony, please. Oh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. In the top row of the peanut gallery, it was just one in the crowded audience until he started to laugh. <laughs> and laughter <laughs> is contagious. <laughs> 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 it's a million. Where did it come from? Where is it? Is he down there? No! Up there! There it goes again! Get that man! How will that laugh? Get him! He's colossal! He's the greatest! What a talent! Boy, what a discovery! That's right for the part! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> And 
And that's how it happened. Goofy was discovered and thrust into his first picture before he knew what it was all about. <laughs> Guys, I'm an actor. You wait right here. We'll tell you when to come in. Light, camera, action. Why? Mr. Mouse, Mr. Duck, on stage. Place does everybody. All right, boys. This is serious. Here's the situation. You're going to be dispossessed. You're broke. The rent's overdue. You're on a spot, see? In a jam, really worried. Remember, look at the calendar. Now, the sheriff's going to knock on the door any minute. Get ready. Now, Goofy wasn't any great shakes as a thespian, but in his bungling, slap-happy way, he had proved his worth. He's worth a million. He's worth two million. Two million five hundred grand. Ah, uh, three million. Four million. Four million seven hundred and fifty. What do you mean five million? Six, seven, eight, nine. Fifty dollars a week for forty-eight years. <laughs> oh, break it. Okay, sign this ironclad contract. D I P P Y dog, Dippy dog, Dippy dog, Dippy dog. We'll have to change that. Yes, sir, J B. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me think. A name. One to remember. Something like uh, Ronald, Montague, Fernley, Humphrey, Barclay, Oliver, Tarrant. No! One with more dignity. Something like... Uh... Goofy. Goofy? Yes, sir, J.B. You've oh. done it again. It's colossal. Magnificent. <laughs> I like it, too. Here is your first 50. That'll be 10 for Uncle Sam. Old age pension. Agents fee. The goofy home. Producer's relief. Telephone. Parking. And so forth and so on. <laughs> you only owe us $8. <laughs> That's cheap. Son. Do you know what it takes to be an actor? Oh, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> you bet. What? Lights? Music? Action! <clears throat> it's no bed of roses, this long rocky road. But visions of stardom will lighten your load. It takes backbone and spirit and courage and pluck. With a boost now and then from old lady luck. But don't step on your friends as you climb to renown, for they are the ones you may meet coming down. So be kind to all actors, both humble and grand, and ease them along with a kind helping hand. Be meek. Be humble. Stay as you are. And hitch your ladder to a star. But the ladder that leads to success can't be trusted. For time and again, you'll find a rung busted. And just when you fought your way up to the top, The bottom drops out, and you find you're a flop. So with stout-hearted courage over cranny and crack, it's onward and upward, and never look back. 
The storms of the critics grow violent and loud. The snub and the insults. The boos of the crowd. The pinnacle reach. You stand in the sun. Triumphant in victory. The grim battle. One. Superb performance. Definitely definitive. Sheer genius. And now in your next picture. Yes? Are we going to take you out of supporting roles? Uh-huh. And give you a leading role. Oh, boy. You'll play this lead in the part of a moose. <laughs> uh, the front part. Light, camera, action! Quiet! Shut up! Oh! This is a take! Roll it! Take one UM-50. Goofy's sudden rise to Hollywood stardom had pushed his face in the public eye. No longer could this unassuming star keep his private life hidden from his adoring fans. And so, through the magic of television, we take an intimate peek inside the modest home of that well-known star of the entertainment world, Goofy. Amidst these humble surroundings, silently, quietly, our TV cameras move in to show his simple personality. His most intimate life is revealed by the all-seeing eye of the TV camera. Oh. oh! Good morning. Thus, he greets his public. Arising each morning with a spring in his step, faithfully followed by his TV audience. His setting up exercises consist of trying out various expressions in front of his mirror. His vocal exercise consists of pampering his million-dollar voice. <laughs> With a burst of energy, he's off for his morning dip as he recalls his boyhood days around the old swimming hole. Hollywood hasn't spoiled Goofy. He believes in the simple life. It only has one pool for each day in the week, with a special one for Friday and, of course, on Saturday. Oh, all the world knows me, I love them. Yes, Goofy is considered one of Hollywood's snappiest dressers, and fame has left him untouched. Nothing goes to his head. Absolutely nothing. Gaily, he salutes his public. <coughs> With simple dignity, he enters his car, a modest, platinum-plated, custom-built limousine. Thus, he bids a fond adieu to his television audience. And so, it's off to the studio. Ooh, here he comes now. Oh, oh, can I have your autograph? Me too. Don't forget me. Gee, thanks, Goofy. Oh, he's wonderful. Dreamy. Cool. Real. A star's arrival upon the movie set calls for instant action. All right, boys. Everybody ready? Camera, action. Quiet! This is a take. Right. Not now, Mr. Goofy. Later. Start talking, Professor. No truer words have ever been uttered than those of Confucius, or some other philosopher, who said the outside of a horse is good for the inside of a man. Riding is perhaps one of the most beneficial forms of exercise. The gentle rocking action of the horse acts as an invigorating tonic to those vital organs, the heart and the liver. We turn our footsteps homeward. 
The experienced horseman always walks his horse to the stable. Stable? <laughs> Indeed, the outside of a horse is good for the inside of a man. <laughs> there is a certain time each year when a hush falls over Hollywood. A feeling of tenseness is in the air. The time is near. All Hollywood holds its breath for the annual presentation of the awards. And tonight's the night. As thousands of stars and fans are assembled to pay homage to those about to receive these great awards for their outstanding performances of the year's greatest picture. Hello from Hollywood. This is Sylvester Plouffe. We take pleasure in presenting the year's awards for the most talented performances. And now, upon the stage, we open the letter with the name of the year's outstanding actor. The envelope, please. Here it comes. And the winner is... Hilary Hartburn. Now, for the best supporting actor. The envelope, please. Nat Nutmeg. Good boy, Nat. And here's one for the funniest comedian, Desmond Dinwiddie. <laughs> And the best horse, Ludwig the Wonder Horse. <laughs> and last but not least, the special award for the year's most unforgettable personality, the best canine actor, Pluto. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Missed again, alone in this great house, which once rang with laughter. He, who had brought so much laughter to others, could laugh no more. His entire past flashed before him. It's no bed of roses, this long, rocky road. Light, camera. Action! His autograph is highly prized as a collector's item. The pinnacle reached, you stand in the sun. With no place to go but down, down, down to the sea. Where the siren voices call. Report Studio, Chance of Lifetime, Dual Role, Starring You, Opportunity. Opportunity, Chance of a Lifetime. I said come on! Come on, come on, come on! Never! Yes, the show must go on, and there's always the next picture just beyond the horizon. Wow! Gonna star in Motor Mania, huh? Dual roles, too. Pedestrian and motors. 
Well, let's see. Part of a human, huh? Will you just tuck those ears under your hat? Collar, glasses, tie. There. Are you ready, Mr. Walker? <laughs> yeah. Are you ready, Mr. Wheeler? Yeah. Light camera action. So. This is a take. Roll it! Mr. Walker lives in a quiet, respectable neighborhood. He is a typical average man. Considered a good citizen and of average intelligence. He's a kindly man, courteous, punctual, and honest. Good morning, Mr. Walker. Good morning to you, Mr. Geef. Lovely day. Mr. Walker wouldn't hurt a fly, nor step on an ant. He believes in live and let live. Mr. Walker owns a motor car and considers himself a good driver. But once behind the wheel, a strange phenomenon takes place. Mr. Walker is charged with an overwhelming sense of... Come on! Move over! Get out of the way, Roadhog! Too bad, Mr. Wheeler. You've broken your toy. But let this be a lesson, Mr. Wheeler. Drive safely. Goofy really wouldn't drive like that. Uh-uh, not me. I'm not that goofy. And for that picture, Motor Mania, Goofy finally did get his award. The motion picture Motor Mania accorded highest honors in the theatrical motion picture classification for films on safety. And so, at last, Goofy, from nonsense, you finally made sense. Oh, <laughs> my